Hello, potential friends and adventurers. I'm Em, and today we have third episode of wonderful, glorious traps you can put in your dungeons for your players. Welcome, DMs, to the DM table. Now remember, these aren't necessarily for every table, but some players love challenge, some players love puzzles, some players love interactive, interesting traps that they can dismantle and search for, and play mind games about uh, with the dungeon makers, and so you can provide. Now let's start. With number one, we have Hollowed Dirt. Well, it's a simple trap, yet devious. You only take some clumps of dirt, the kind that you would have dug up from, if say somebody dug up a field for agricultural purposes or whatnot, and uh, you take some small ones, no more than a few centimeters or inches uh, across in either side, the kind that uh, look like you could step on and that they are insignificant and lay across the road, especially in some abandoned mine or something like that, where your dungeon is, and then you take your caltrops, preferably poisoned, I guess, and you stick them in, caring to not break the dirt apart. Then, once you have embedded them sufficiently, you can coat the bottom with mud so that no matter how they turn, they won't noticeably stick out and then spread hundreds of them across a room and then when party is supposed to go through there and fight there, you have some enemies that uh, might be, say, wearing iron boots or thick wooden shoes. And uh, there you go, you have um, cultures everywhere that uh, one side is immune to, other side doesn't see and they're poisoned at their tips, so that's number one. At number two, we have Miniature Spike Pit. Well, if you really have this sort of environment and you have plenty of dirt and mud, say if you have some shallow, muddy puddles, or a sort of big one that's not exactly a lake or anything like that, but it's a big puddle across the whole cave or whatnot, and it has a muddy bottom. You can embed short wooden stakes down the bottom and uh, stick them deep in that they don't stick out of the mud and sharpen them and make sure they're barbed and there you go. Very nasty and it's not really visible from afar. And again, the previous two traps are not uh, detectable easily by magic because they are not magical, they don't really emit anything. So at number three we have Exploding Torch. This is a fun one, if uh, you prefer this sort of fun. You have in a dungeon torch, uh, laying there on the wall, normal, not lit, just being there, waiting to be used. And you can have dozens of these all over the place and some dark areas. Now the people that reside in the dungeon, the enemies know not to use specific torches, the ones that have essentially a stick of dynamite inside. But your adventurers, they don't know which ones are these, and if they pick them up and use them, they'll be carrying a lit dynamite near their head. And say that you don't want to have inventory management where you remember which ones are these and which ones are not and the party has their own torches and you really want to use this trap, well, put one in a puzzle room where it's dark enough that, uh, you know, details wouldn't be seen and the torch is nearby, just waiting to be lit. 30 second fuse and watch the fun unfold. Next, at number 4, we have fake weapons. Now, I didn't think of this one, I saw it uh, somewhere on the internet, but it's it's a fun one. You have, same as with torches, fake weapons stuffed all around the dungeon, and... Uh, well, they should look decent, but they don't have to be fancy or enchanted or anything. If at any point somebody wants to pick up and use one of these, and uh, it's a reasonable upgrade, I guess this is a low-level trap when you think about it, but yes, once you have these around and they are a reasonable upgrade for somebody, when it's swung, it's revealed that it's sabotaged and, well, the blade detaches, it 
falls out, um, the tip of the spear falls out. Uh, it's not really dangerous uh, on its own, but um, you're essentially disarmed in the middle of the fight, and you're not dealing damage, and now you have to equip something else, and it's a question whether you're ready and whether you have something on you, and so on and so forth. It can be a bit of a surprise and a bit of a nuisance, especially if it happens at the right time, where one lost action is essentially a big deal. And at number 5 we have quite a nasty one. The designated cave-in tunnel. It's a classical trap, really. Uh, if you have some sort of a den that, um, or a base or something like that underground that uh, is prepared against uh, being uh, raided, you may have designated cave-in tunnel. And this is essentially a tunnel that leads nowhere and it's an acceptable loss of the structure. It won't pull down the whole base with it. And once you have your party going down that very tunnel, which should look enticing in some manner, creatures or people sneaking behind them can set off whatever they have prepared to cave in the tunnel, whether it's cutting the supports, uh, activating the explosives, or so on or so forth, and uh, they cause a cave-in. Now, at milder form, you have a situation where your party should escape this place. And as a nastier version, you don't even need sneaking enemies, you can have at the end of this hallway a treasure room with a chest that's um, highly rigged and full of explosives that just blasts the whole room to bits and caves in everything uh, as soon as uh, the trap is triggered. And this chest is made to be harder to disarm than usual trap because it's not supposed to be recoverable or resettable, it's just supposed to blow up as soon as it's touched in almost any manner, so it's harder for the rogue to probe it properly. That's that's the nastier version, it, um, it really causes rocks to fall in case that is uh, the type of challenge that's required. There you go, very challenging traps. And if at all you have any questions, if you want to talk about your own traps, if you want to ask me something, you can go in the comments, I'm waiting for you there. We can talk, mm, we can write to each other. And adventure, if you thought this was unique, maybe you can spare me a click and support the channel and I could see you here next and perhaps every week. Till next time, bye.